well, well, well. Good morning. Oh, that lake is beautiful. It is uh, Thursday, July 7th. Uh, I just hiked about three, three and a half miles. Uh, a little bit of that was off trail to a lake that I've been at uh, quite a few times. I came to this lake specifically because, um, well, first of all, it, it can produce uh, pretty big brook trout. And it's a fantastic float tube lake. I had my float tube in my bag. I got uh, almost all the way here and realized I forgot the pump to my float tube. So of course I put the float tube at the bottom of my pack and I had to unpack and left that in the truck and I'm here without it. So uh, hopefully shore fishing is good, but um, there's nobody down here. Um, wouldn't expect anybody to come down here. We're gonna get camp set up and do a lot of fishing. So gonna have a lot of fun. Well, I am here. I'm set up uh, about 50 yards back in the trees. I love this place. It's beautiful. I'm alone. Uh, I've already seen a little bit of fish activity out in the middle of the lake, which is why I wanted my float tube, but I'm going to start right here and uh, just work the shore. So let's have some fun. Cast in. I just hooked into my first fish on a green woolly bugger. Not bad by any means, uh, 12 inches, but there's much bigger in here. Just gotta find them. Thank you. Come back later. All right, we found another one. Oh, it's got some fight. That's yeah, about the same size. Goodness. All right, uh, here's number two. A really healthy brook trout, still only about 12 inches. Uh, pretty fat though. I'm looking for its grandpa. It was on that little guy right there. Uh, same pattern as the green one earlier, just different colors. All right. Uh, I think this is four. Uh, I missed one on camera. This was on a black woolly bugger. Feels like a pretty healthy fish. Yep. <laughs> it's got some good fight. Oh boy. Oh, I hope it doesn't come off. It's a good fish. good fight. It's a beauty. Thank you. Well, it is about a quarter afternoon. I still got so much day. Um, having a blast. Obviously, there, there's nobody down here. Um, the only person I saw coming up on a Thursday, there's one guy solo in a lake about a mile away from me up, up near where the trail is. Um, he was the only person I saw, which is always great. Uh, fishing so far has been pretty good. Um, you know, I caught, I, I think, four or, five, four or five fish to the net. Uh, missed a couple, had a couple come off. Nothing huge. Uh, they get a lot bigger in here. Um, I haven't found any of those yet. I wish I had my float tube. Frustrating, but um, I'm going to collect some firewood. There's actually still some firewood from the last time I was here. Um, I know it's the wood that I, that I uh, picked up off the ground because I recognize it. Uh, but I'm going to collect some firewood so uh, later I can just worry about fishing and not have to do any camp chores. And I'm really hungry, but having fun.
beautiful brook trout. About 14 inches. Yes. Ooh. Oh, Lee, there's a freaking fly in between my my bug net and my vestibule. Just irritating me. Outside of that, it hasn't been very buggy. I haven't had any problems with mosquitoes. I'm sure they're they're going to come out a little bit later, but no problems yet, which is great. Uh, it's about three. I'm in my tent. I'm going to hang out and uh, read a book. I might watch an episode of Forged in Fire, but uh, the afternoon fishing was was okay. Uh, I caught a couple. Uh, one of them was really healthy. Missed a bunch of strikes, then it died off, so I just come up and uh, I'm going to hang out for a bit, and then I'll head down to the water. Probably here in uh, maybe two hours and fish until it's dinner time. There it is right there. At least the little bugger stopped buzzing around, banging his head off the walls. It is turning into a beautiful evening. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe it by the way it looks right now, but it rained on me for like an hour. Um, evening fishing has been rough. I've had four or five strikes. They've just been uh, just little subtle takes. Uh, I haven't brought anything to the net. I think it's about 7.30. I'm really hungry. I've been eating a lot today, but boy, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna cook my dinner at Peak Refuel, and then I might go fish after. If not, I'll probably start a fire and hang out for an hour or two, then uh, hit the tent. So. Uh, Peak refuel it is. <laughs> well, I made it uh, almost dark. It's about 9.30. Um, fire's out. I'm going to put a movie on and go to bed. We'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning. 7 o'clock. Uh, I just got out of my tent. Uh, it feels great out. It's like 50 degrees. I have not had my coffee yet. Um, before I do anything, I'm going to go toss a bug. I'm going to go see if I can't catch a fish. Uh, for as long as I guess I feel like doing that. Uh, then I'll have some coffee, some breakfast, and then I gotta pack up and I head out of here. So, yep, we're going fishing. Well, I'm back in my truck. Um, after I woke up, I did go fishing. I didn't catch anything, had a couple strikes. Had coffee, some oatmeal, and then I packed up and I got right out of here. It's uh, about 11 o'clock, so I'm heading home. I'm on call at work this next week, so it'll probably be a couple of weeks before I'm back out, and uh, we'll see you soon.